Hi, thanks for joining us again. Bill Fairman here with Carolina Capital Management. Don't forget to like and share. We have other videos that are available to you, either again on top, up to the side, to the bottom. Depends on the platform that you're watching this on. Uh, here's another frequently asked question that we get frequently, surprisingly enough. <laughs> what are some of the red flags uh, on a listing that usually only real estate agents can spot? Well, there's issues. One of them is does not allow for FHA financing or they want cash only. Now it could be that they want cash only because they just don't want a long drawn out period where they're going to take the house off the market, you know, and it's depending on financing and then find out you can't get financing. But sometimes it means that you could have issues like, there's a clouded title of some sort. So you're still working out title issues. It could be that the a property's on a dirt road. It's uh, you can't get FHA financing if it's not a you know improved state maintained road. You could have a shared well or septic tank, and that becomes an issue too. Who's going to fix it if it breaks? Who's responsible for that? You could have a shared driveway or private road. Again, these things are a concern if, you know, they need to be maintained and who's going to maintain them? Who's going to pay to maintain them? Mobile homes, for example, you can get financing through FHA on a double wide on land. It, it is considered real property, but a lot of times they're in rural areas where you're going to have shared water, shared septic, you know, shared wells, you have easements uh, through other people's property to get to them. The other thing you need to look out for too is a little plot of land that the family had carved out for a, you know, a child and now they've sold the place. Now you're going to be surrounded by this other person's family. And especially if it was, had been some sort of a bank foreclosure, it's, you're probably not going to be pleasant to live around the family that had given land to their child and then the bank foreclosed. <laughs> you're, you're probably not going to have some nice neighbors around you. So you don't want to deal with that as a lender. We don't want to deal with that either because it's going to be hard for us to sell it. If the property is surrounded by uh, family members that aren't happy that, the, you know, uh, that they were foreclosing if that, if that makes sense. Now, all of these can cause mortgage issues and you as a investor want to, to buy something that is going to be easily saleable because you always want plenty of exit strategies. If, if you're buying it as a rental portfolio and you don't really care that it, it's got title issues because you're not planning on selling it anytime soon. Well, you still need that exit strategy because you never know what happens down the road and you need, you need to prepare for it. And if you, it's, as it is, real estate is not liquid. It's even less liquid if you can't sell it. So don't, you know, box yourself in uh, dealing with uh, th these types of issues. So again, thanks for joining us, Bill Fairman, Carolina Capital Management. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like us. And again, we have videos that are available in the archive, um, depending on the platform you're looking, just pick a spot up, down or sideways. <laughs> have a great day. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this time. And if you really like this show, you'll have an opportunity to see even more. You can choose up here. You can choose over here. You can choose down here, right? Awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.